Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'll be helping you get started with digital planning. All right, so a little transparent moment. I was not always the best at planning child. But in school, I would hear people say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I decided to be more intentional and that was definitely a game changer. So let's go ahead and get into it. Digital planning is essentially just a PDF that you upload to a note-taking app on your device. Majority of the time, the PDF comes with hyperlinks, and these allow you to move to different parts of the planner. You upload the PDF to an app like GoodNotes, for example, and you use the app's features to write over your planner. People love it because it gives you the feel of traditional paper planning, but with all the convenience of digital tools. You can add stickers, widgets, and images. You can reuse your pages, templates, and like I mentioned before, access hyperlinks. You can erase and move things around easily. You can also keep everything in one place, like your journaling, your to-do list, your calendar, etc. Another reason why digital planning is so popular is because it's very versatile. You can use it for your home life, for your business, school, self-care, and more. Personally, I started my planning journey with a paper planner, but I switched because I just love how customizable digital planning can be. It literally eats. And you don't have to just plan. There are tons of options for books, journals. You can create a vision board, recipes, just to name a few. To get started, you're going to need an iPad or some type of tablet. I have an iPad 10th generation. You're also going to need an Apple Pencil or stylus to write over your planner for that traditional planner type of feel. And y'all, I got a paper light screen protector off of Amazon. And when I tell you it really make you feel like you're writing on paper, I absolutely love it. If you're not into the whole Apple or iPad thing, there are definitely other options such as the Remarkable. And I also think that Samsung and Microsoft have tablets as well. So as long as your tablet can support an app that you can edit your PDF on, you should be good to go. Now y'all, I cannot speak on any of these other tablets because honestly, I've never used them. I am definitely an iPad girly. I love my iPad. She gets the job done. All right, so when it comes to apps, y'all already know GoodNotes is what I use. It is the absolute best in my opinion when it comes to digital planning. GoodNotes is that girl because they are always updating and releasing new features and there's also no lag. GoodNotes is subscription based. I want to say it's free up to three notebooks, but I think it's totally worth it. And y'all can also check out my GoodNotes 6 beginner's guide video for more info. Xenia is another great creative planning app. This one is also subscription based, but they do offer a lot of fun features and pin options. They also offer a lot of different stickers which are built into the app. It's super convenient because you pretty much have everything at your fingertips. And they release new planner inserts and stickers monthly. This is perfect for people who love creative planning, decorating, and lots of stickers. If you're wanting something completely free, I would recommend Notes Plus. It integrates with ChatGPT, which can be very useful when it comes to planning. It's very similar to GoodNotes, but it does have a few more features and a lot more pen options. It also has a calculator and many other nice tools like different types of timers. Unfortunately, there is some lag and there are a few bugs with Notes Plus because it is a newer app, but it's still a very solid option. It's not going to be as smooth as GoodNotes, but it is a great alternative for people that want something free. There are so many options online when it comes to choosing a digital planner. Majority of the time I'm planning in my essential planner. It's available on legendarydigitals.com if you want to check it out. I also have a daily, weekly, monthly plan freebie on my site as well. If you want to just test the waters and see if digital planning is for you, I'll drop the link in the description bar for those who are interested. When it comes to choosing a planner, you definitely want to look around and find something that fits your needs. Once you've chosen a planner, download and import it into your app of choice. Most planners will come with setup instructions on how to get started to make things super easy. When you purchase from my website, you'll receive an email that looks like this. You just click the download button and it should save to your files. It's pretty self-explanatory and simple. 
when your planner is downloaded just go ahead and import it into whatever app that you're using and you'll be ready to start planning in no time digital stickers are chef's kiss they are one of my favorite parts about digital planning they just make everything so much cuter and they add personality and creativity to your pages if you're not familiar with GoodNotes, they have an elements tool where you can store all of your stickers. You can organize them by categories or themes. And once you upload them, you can reuse them over and over again. I do purchase my stickers, but you can always make your own or even use photos from Pinterest. So for me, I like to have weekly planning sessions. I like to get comfy and just really make it a vibe. Doing it this way just gives me something to look forward to. I try to make it a fun part of my routine. It's a way for me to tap into my creativity, to be more organized and intentional with my time and energy. I love that it gives me structure and it makes me feel like I'm in control of the day instead of just being super overwhelmed. My biggest tip would be just to make it a part of your routine. Keep it fun and interesting, something relaxing that you actually look forward to doing. Just make your planner cute and something that you enjoy looking at. These are all little things that I did when I first started. Be open-minded, try different things and see what actually works for you and what you gravitate towards. Okay guys, so that is my beginner's guide to digital planning. You should definitely have all the basic info to get started and check in with your to-do list. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.